The Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, Justice Ibrahim Mohammed, on Tuesday admitted that he received a protest letter from 147 Justice of the Supreme Court wherein they expressed their displeasure over the current state of affairs in the court. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do subscribe. Hit the like button. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. The justice had accused the CJN of ignoring their repeated demand for improved welfare despite the upward review of the budgetary allocation of the judiciary. Aside from allegations that accommodation was not provided for new justices that were sworn in since 2020, the aggrieved jurist accused the CJN of not allowing them to attend foreign trainings adding that vehicles that were supplied to them were either refurbished or substandard. They decry that the chief registrar of the court had in an internal memo that was served on them maintained that electricity would only be supplied to the court between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. daily owing to lack of diesel implying that they may leave office before the stated time. We demand to know what has become of our training funds. Have they been diverted or is it a plain denial? Your Lordship may also remember that the National Assembly had increased the budgetary allocation of the judiciary. We find it strange that in spite of the upward review of our budgetary allocation, the courts cannot cater for our legitimate entitlements. This is unacceptable, the protest letter reads in part. Meanwhile, the CJN in a statement he issued through his media aide, Mr. Airaki Isha on Tuesday, said he has held a meeting with the aggrieved justice to assuage their grievances. Justice Mohammed said it was not true that he refused to carry all the justices along in the administration of the APS court, saying he has not only restored internet services at residences and chambers, of all the justice, justices, but equally okayed the payment of some of their outstanding allowances. The statement titled State of Affairs in the Supreme Court and Demand by Justice of the Supreme Court. It reads, and I quote, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Ibrahim Tanko Mohammed, would wish to confirm receipt of letter written and addressed to him by his brother Justice of the Supreme Court bench. Judges in all claims are to be seen and not heard and that informed why the CJN refrained from joining issues until a letter said to be personal is spreading across the length and breadth of the society. This was akin to dancing naked at the market square by us with the ripple effect of the said letter. The Supreme Court definitely does not exist outside its environment. It is also affected by the economic and social political climate prevailing in the country. Besides that, the APS court has to a large extent been living to its constitutional responsibility. When a budget is made, it contains two sides that the recurrent and the capital, yet all the two are broken down into items. 
The federal government releases the budget based on the budget component and it's an offense to spend the money meant for one item for another. Take for instance, the Supreme Court budgeted this year to re-roof and rehabilitate its complex built its complex built over thirty years ago, and that is being done. The work on the extension of a complex is near completion. The aesthetic lawns and cleanness of the perimeters are being well kept and security and water supply are adequately provided for his brother justices in their offices and residences. During the period of pandemic, a profound and extra care was maintained to avoid casualties among them as well as the staff general. It would have amounted to an act of irresponsibility to divert money meant for the above for otherwise. The accusation, so far in summary, is that more or all or all ought to have been done and not that nothing has been done, which is utopined in the contemporary condition of our country. Before its new justices were appointed in 2020 onto the APES court's bench, there was no additional budget to provide new chambers with equipped library, legal assistance and residential accommodations and, log and logistics for them. The APES court has to make do with the resources at its disposal to meet their needs over time. All the ju justices of this court has at least a legal assistant, except some may opt for more. One of the CJN's legal assistants, now Justice I know, was appointed to Abuja FCTI court last month while another barrister Ramatu died three months back. Generally, the judiciary is looking up to recruitment of more legal assistants and other supporting staff this year. Besides, two Supreme Court justices died within the period under consideration. Both the four retirees and the two departed Cost the court some funds and the forms of gratuities and allowances. Two weeks ago, eight Supreme Court justices were nominated for a workshop in, Le in London. As the court cannot take all of them there at once, otherwise the job would suffer. They would be going in batches. Accommodations are being gradually provided for the few that are yet to get. There is none of the APS court justices without SUV and backup cars. If any of them were purchased but refurbished, the external and internal, internal auditors are here in the court to take those that bought them up over it. The high cost of electricity tariff and diesel are a national problem. The chief registrar might have budgeted for 300 naira per litre, but diesel is now selling for over 700 naira per litre and therefore has to find a way around it without even bringing it to the attention of the CJN. But there is no way the generator would be put off if the court is sitting. The amendment of court rules is on, is on the process. It has to be critically reviewed to avoid conflict with the constitution and other extant laws. Not all the CJN has reviewed the rules in the past. Within the three years his brother justices mentioned came the pandemic and the judiciary workers' strike. 
the internet services have been restored to justices' residences and chambers, just as some allowances have been paid to them. The CJN held a meeting with his brother justices last Thursday, and another one is due to hold this week. The general public should be rest assured that there is no hostility or adverse feelings among the justices of the Supreme Court as everyone is going about his normal duty. This is a response to the letter earlier written, the protest letter earlier written by the justices complaining about their salaries, allowances, training allowances, and what have you. Mm. So this is a response from the CJN defending himself and raising several issues that have made, you know, the budgetary allowances that the federal government had earlier budgeted not to be sufficient for the upkeep, should I say the upkeep and, you know, the maintenance of the accommodation, the quarters and chambers. In his defense, he said 300 naira was, was what was budgeted for and now it is 700 naira, as we all know few prices in abuja is a lot higher as we have come to find out than other states because uh, petrol um, oil tankers prefer to take petrol uh, diesel i mean prefer to take diesel to abuja rather than take petrol to abuja because they know that diesel is a lot more expensive and people are willing to pay a lot more for diesel than petrol so as a result of that there have been fuel scarcity and all that but in my opinion i'm just saying that it shouldn't be our justice system that is at war now because every sector of the economy is at war every se sector of the country is at war like insecurity we are dealing with so many issues even the justice system is not as if they are doing their job because there are a lot more they can do you know but even as at that, there shouldn't be a war over salary and allowances or even anything as at that. If we, we've had enough of all these insecurity issues, other issues. We cannot have uh, war on salary in a judiciary system to that list. So please, they should go and say to themselves, this justice, they have... They, 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 they are giving f um, free, free SUVs to ride and they are still complaining that it is refurbished. Refurbished or not refurbished, at least you have a car that you're riding. So please let us hear what we'll do. We have other more, 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 uh, <laughs> more serious uh, uh, situations or more serious things to attend to in this country than to now be talking about uh, judges complaining about their salaries please people are suffering in, the, in this country we don't need to hear about your own your own troubles it's like when a rich man is true is, is suffering you know a rich man is going to the car a brand new car and the car just happened to have maybe the, the car was supposed to be topped with oil but he forgot to top it with oil and then on his way to work the car stopped working just like a little problem on the road and the rich man is sweating can you compare that with someone who has not eaten for two days just because uh him or her has uh, financial problems no so that's why i'm saying these justices they their problem is just one of those rich men problems people are suffering in this nigeria more than more than all these say complaint that they are giving let me know what you think in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do subscribe. Hit the like button. Most importantly, click on the notification bell. It is very important. Click on that notification bell, guys. Click on it. So whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first person to get notified. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.